good morning. morning. And Merry Christmas. Christmas. I get to say that this morning. Um, Welcome to Central Presbyterian Church. I've actually only been asked to highlight one announcement that on January 1st, worship is at 10.30 a.m. There will be a nursery provided, but there will be no child or youth Sunday school, but the building will be open for adult Sunday school that morning. Uh, If you please pass the ritual of friendship and sign that so that we can record that you were here. We thank you for being here. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Throughout the season of Advent, we lit candles each week as we waited. Each candle allowed us to remember what it was like for those who waited in darkness, looking forward to the coming light of Christ. We lit the first candle in hope. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. We lit the second candle in love. I will turn the darkness before them into light, the rough places into level ground. These are the things I will do, and I will not forsake them. We lit the third candle in peace. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up quickly. We lit the fourth candle in joy. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. This morning we light the Christ candle because Jesus, the light of the world, was born on this day, and he brightens all things. O come, let us adore him together in word and song.
Please remain standing and join me in the call to confession. Today we celebrate that Jesus our Lord came to earth as a human, just like us, but without sin. He came so that we who sin may be freed from sin. With the peace that comes from knowing Jesus came, let us confess our sins and be forgiven. Let us pray. God of love, all year long we pursue power and money. Yet you come in weakness. All season long, we covet great material gifts. When you alone offer what is lasting, do the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on us, for faith and truth. Forgive us, heal us, correct us. Then open our lips that we may sing the praise with the angels. And we may that we may witness in a transforming love to Christ our Lord who we pray. Amen. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his body his holy arm before the eyes of all nations, and the, all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. People of God, through the coming of Christ Jesus, whose birth we celebrate, the Lord has comforted and redeemed us too. In Christ we receive the salvation of our God. Glory to God in the highest. <laughs> The first reading is from Isaiah 11. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, 
the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. The next Old Testament reading is Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7, and can be found on Pew, Bi Pew Bibles, page 638. But there was no gloom for those who were in anguish. In the former time he brought into contempt the land of Zebulun. I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong one. I started on the wrong verse. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with the joy at the harvest, as people exalt, exalt when divide, dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be an endless peace of the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness. 
From this time onward and furthermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Gentle Mary laid her child lowly in a manger. There he lay the undefiled to the world a stranger. Such a babe in such a place, can he be the Savior? As the saved of all the race who have found his faithful. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Whom angels greet with anthem sweet, while shepherds watch or keeping? This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. So bring him incense, gold, and myrrh. Come one and all to own him. The King of kings salvation brings, let loving hearts enthrone him. Praise, raise a song on high, the virgin sings her lullaby. Joy, joy, for Christ is born, the babe, the son of Mary. The first gospel reading can be found on page 56 in your pew Bible. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 through 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you, have not, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
I'd like to invite all my little friends to come forward. Good morning. Guess what I don't get to normally say up here. Merry Christmas. Are you guys sleepy? Did you get up super early? Did you get any good presents? Yeah. Oh, goodness. You do look sleepy. Listen, I thought we could read a story together today. So why don't you guys come down here? And we're going to sit. I'm going to sit on the floor in church. It's going to be fun. Okay. Is this better? I like, I like reading the story in a circle today. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you guys a story about the best Christmas present ever, okay? It's called, He's Here. Everything was ready. The moment God had been waiting for was here at last. God was coming to help his people just as he promised in the beginning. But how would he come? What would he be like? What would he do? Mountains would have bowed down. Seas would have roared. Trees would have clapped their hands. Yeah, and Aiden would have screamed. But the earth held its breath. As silent as snow falling, he came in. And when no one was looking in the darkness, he came. Can you see the world? There was a young girl who was engaged to a man named Joseph. One morning, this girl was minding her own business when suddenly a great warrior of light appeared in her, right there in her bedroom. He was Gabriel, and he was an angel, a special man, messenger from heaven. When she saw the tall, shiny man standing there, she was frightened. You don't need to be scared, Gabriel said. God is very happy with you. Mary looked around to see if perhaps he was talking to someone else. Mary, Gabriel said, and he laughed with such gladness that Mary's eyes filled suddenly with tears. Mary, you're going to have a baby, a little boy. You will call him, where's he going to, good, okay, you guys got it. He is God's own son. He's the one, he's the rescuer, the God who flung planets into space and kept them whirling around and around, the God who made the universe with just one word, the one who could do anything at all, was making himself small and coming down as a baby. Wait. God was sending a baby to rescue the world? Does that sound silly? But it's too wonderful, Mary said, and her, felt her heart beating hard. How can it be true? Is anything too wonderful, God? Gabriel, Gabriel asked. So Mary trusted God more than her eyes could see, and she believed. I am God's servant, she said. Whatever God says, I will do. Sure enough, it was just as the angel had said. Nine months later, Mary was almost ready to have her baby. Now Mary and Joseph had to take a trip to Bethlehem, the town King David was from. But when they reached the little town, they found every room was full. Every bed was taken. Go away, the innkeepers told them. There isn't any place for you. Where would they stay? Soon Mary's baby would come to a stable, so they stayed where the cows and the donkeys and horses stayed. Okay, do you see your donkey? Okay. And there, in the stable, amongst the chickens and the donkeys and the cows, in the quiet of the night, God gave his wonderful gift. What was it? Yes. Good. The baby that would change the world was born, his baby son. Mary and Joseph wrapped him up to keep him warm. They made a soft bed of straw and used the animal's feeding trough as his cradle. And they gazed in wonder at God's great gift, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, Emmanuel, which means God has come to live with us because, of course, he had. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for Christmas. Thank you so much for sending your son, who is the best Christmas present ever. 
It's in your name we pray. Amen. Okay, today you guys get to go sit back with your parents and you can sing Away in a Manger on your way, okay? In those days, a decree went out to, from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was, the, was governor, governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to J Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to the regist he went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him down in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn.
Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an, and the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left then, them, they had gone into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with the haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. Please join me in prayer. Gracious God, we are thankful to you for the beauty of this day and for the beauty of the meaning of this day. 
And we're thankful for the privilege and opportunity you've given us to come together in freedom, to worship in this place, to celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus Christ. We give you thanks for the joy of this season. We give you thanks for the hope that it brings us. We give you thanks that you love the world so much that you gave your only son, Jesus Christ, that whoever lives in him may not perish but have eternal life. We thank you for this gift. We ask that you will inspire us to love you and to serve you and to give of our lives in return. We ask that you'll be with all of those who are struggling today, for those who don't have a home to go to, for those who don't have work to do, for those who don't have food to eat. Pray your presence with them, and we pray that you'll use our church and others to help to provide for them. Pray that you'll be at work throughout the world, wherever there is conflict, wherever there is hatred, wherever there is discord, wherever there is lack and want. Pray that your peace and mercy and provision will prevail. We ask that this day you will fill us with joy because of the good news of this morning and that you'll send us forth to share it in our homes and our families and our schools and our workplaces. We ask all of these things through Jesus Christ who taught us to pray together saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us continue to worship God now as we present God's tithes and our offerings to the Lord. See what I see way up in the sky, little lamb. Do you see what I see? A star, a star dancing in the night with a tail as big as a kite, with a tail as big as a kite. shepherd boy do you hear what I hear ringing in the sky shepherd boy do you hear what I hear a song a song high above the tree with a voice as big as the sea with a voice as big as the sea Said the shepherd boy to the mighty king, Do you know what I know? In your palace warm, mighty king, Do you know what I know? A child, a child, shivers in the cold, Let us bring him silver and gold, Let us bring to what I say. Pray for peace, people everywhere. Listen to what I say. The child, the child, sleeping in the night, he will bring us goodness and light. He will bring us goodness and light.
gracious and giving God, you have given us everything. And on this day, we celebrate the greatest of those gifts with the birth of your son. We ask that you will receive these gifts from our hands and that you will accept them and multiply them and consecrate them, use them for the work of your kingdom here and elsewhere, that you will accept the gift of our lives and use us in your service every day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Pray that you have been blessed by coming together that we might adore him this morning on his birthday. And I invite you to go forth from this place in peace. I invite you to go forth and continue having a Merry Christmas. If you're going to a mountaintop, go tell it on the mountain. If you're going to a valley, go tell it in the valley. If you're going home, go tell the good news to your family. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.